very good morning dear guys welcome to the class today we are going to continue the poem a tiger in the zoo a tiger in the zoo written by leslie norris leslie norris as i told you here she expresses the agony and the helplessness of the tiger caged in the zoo okay besides he miss besides the poet uh compares compares the condition of condition of a tiger caged in the zoo and a tiger free in the jungle yes then here the poet the poet objects the poet objects that the people the people are keeping the tigers the animals tigers or other animals in the zoo just for their own fun yes so here see objects means the poet objects this it should not happen he, uh, he it should not happen she said so dear look at what 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 uh, here the poet says okay in the miss in our previous classes we have seen first three stanzas okay and there we have seen the first stanza it is about the tiger in the zoo then the second and third stanza about the tiger in the jungle and now now the stanza four stanza four look at there but he has logged in a concrete cell his strength behind bars stalking stalking the length of his cage ignoring visitors concrete cell as we know that the building the building made of bricks and mortar that means uh, made of uh, bricks and cement yes that means concrete building okay cell then uh, his strength behind bars stacking stacking again that stack yes walk yes with heavy steps so the length of the cage ignoring 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 visitors so now let's see what is there but 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 he so look at there in the third in the third here the tiger in the zoo the tiger in the zoo okay so now in the fourth one stanza fourth one stanza fourth one stanza the poet the poet is talking about the tiger in the zoo the tiger in the zoo and there he says but but he he had been caged there there she said it has been it has been caged logged in a concrete cell concrete cell concrete cell means that cage cage that made up of cement and concrete made up of cement and concrete in that cage in that cell he had been he had been caged logged the tiger the tiger has been logged in the concrete cell and his strength behind bars and his strength as we know the strength of tiger yes strength of tiger we are very well know about it but here as it had been oh sorry or uh, that that as he has been caged as he has been kept behind the bars all his strength all his strength is of no use all his strength is of no use no use of his is of his strength there yes as he cannot hunt he cannot lurk behind he cannot hide himself or he cannot uh, pray cannot pray and that's why that's why here the poet says as as it has been logged it has been caged in the concrete cell there is no use of his strength behind the bars yes there is a strength behind the bars strength behind the bars that means there is no use there is no use of his strength there is no use of his strength behind the bars yes no use then there he says stalking stalking the length of his cage ignoring visitors and here here the tiger who is in the cage the tiger who is in the cage just 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 walking just walking some steps few steps in his cage just walking walking yes around in his case walking around in his case just measuring measuring the length of his case measuring the length of his case and as we know the length length of case is limited limited so he just measuring walking walking the length length what is limited there 
yes he is just walking some steps few steps in the cage in the cage ignoring the visitors ignoring the visitors as he is habitual he is habitual to the visitors which are there uh, the uh, another side of the bars he could not hunt them he could not prey them he is helpless there is no use of his strength and that's why as he is helpless he could not do anything except 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 walking in the cage he ignores he ignores the visitors ignores the visitors visitors means the people means the people who come there to see the tiger the tiger <coughs> who come to see the tiger in the zoo so here here the tiger does not show his interest in uh, looking at them or uh, he does not show his interest in the visitors he just ignore them ignore them why because he could not do anything he could not do anything there is no use of his strength he could not hunt he could not prey nothing he could do nothing he could do and that's why that's why he just ignore ignores the visitors ignores the visitors and just walking walking in the cage walking around in the cage walking around in the cage and that we have seen in his quiet rays in his quiet rays in the first one stanza that we have seen we have seen in it in his quiet rays quietening quietening his anger quietening his anger or just to quieten just to quieten his anger he is just walking walking around in the cage walking around in the cage ignoring the visitors okay so that is that is what here the meaning of fifth one stanza sorry fourth one stanza fourth one stanza look at there okay now let's see let's see the rhyme scheme rhyme scheme that is used here okay rhyme scheme and the rhyming words <coughs> बिहाइंड द बार्स बार्स यू माइट है अंडरस्टैंड ओके बार्स है ना जो सलाखें होती है सेल में दैट इज कॉल्ड हियर बार्स मीन सिंपली यू कैन से सेल और बार दैट मीन्स जेल प्रिजन केज फॉर टाइगर सो देन हियर लुक एट देयर द सेल बार्स बार्स सेल बार्स केज एंड विजिटर्स ओके विजिटर्स Visitors. So here again A, B, C, B. So A, B, C, B. This is rhyme scheme. Okay, rhyme scheme. A, B, C, B. Okay, you should write down rhyme scheme. A, B, C, B. Okay, rhyme scheme of the stanza four. Rhyming words. Bars. visitors bars and visitors okay these are rhyming pair okay this is rhyming pair or what can say rhyming words rhyming words bars visitors okay bars visitors rhyming word or rhyming pair and then rhyme scheme a b c b okay now let's see the figures of speech figures of speech used figures of speech used in this stanza okay figures of speech so concrete cell concrete cell okay concrete cell okay look at there he is log he is log concrete cell concrete cell okay so wait 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 here but he is log but he is log he is log in a concrete cell in a concrete cell okay so look at here he personification 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 is there as he he the pronoun used for human being the pronoun used for human being is used here to non human being to non human being that is tiger and that's why here it is personification personification okay personification then again he is a strength behind bars behind bars behind bars alliteration he is a strength 
ही इज अ स्ट्रेंथ बिहाइंड बास बिहाइंड बास ब साउंड ब साउंड इज अगेन रिपीटेड हियर ब साउंड ओके ब साउंड रिपीटेड सो इट इज एलिटरेशन 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 इज देयर एज द ब साउंड इज रिपीटेड हियर ओके ब साउंड ब साउंड इज रिपीटेड देन अगेन स्टार्किंग द लेंथ ऑफ हिज केस इग्नोरिंग विजिटर्स ओके अगेन इमेजनरी इमेजरी इमेजरी इज देयर यस इमेजरी इज देयर इमेजरी व्हाई बिकॉज व्हाइल रीडिंग दिस वी अ पिक्चर इज क्रिएटेड बिफोर आवर आईज ओके अ सेंस अ सेंस दैट अप्लाई अप्लाई टू आवर आईज हमारी आई को ही अप्लाई करने वाला एक सेंस है एंड मीन्स एक सीन है एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज इमेजरी इमेजरी इज देयर ओके ही इज लॉग इन अ कॉन्क्रीट सेल ही इज अ स्ट्रेंथ बिहाइंड बार स्टार्किंग द लेंथ ऑफ हिज केज इग्नोरिंग विजिटर्स ओके सो हियर दीज ए टू फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच पर्सोनिफिकेशन सॉरी थ्री इमेजरी एंड एलिटरेशन ओके आर यूज हियर ओके नाउ लेट सी वॉट इज देयर इन द लास्ट वन स्टांजा लास्ट वन स्टांजा ऑफ द पोएम ओके सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस 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 fourth one stanza very well okay now look at the, the last one he hears he hears the last voice at night the patrolling cars and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars okay look at the, the last last one stanza he hears the last voice at night the patrolling cars and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars ओके सो लुक एट देयर एनी 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 डिफिकल्ट वर्ड पेट्रोलिंग कार्स पेट्रोलिंग कार्स मीन्स एज वी नो दैट एट नाइट पुलिस लोग की जो पेट्रोलिंग कार्स घूमती है यस एक आवाज करते हुए दैट इज कॉल्ड हियर पेट्रोलिंग कार्स ओके पेट्रोलिंग कार्स जो रात का भरारी जो फतक पतक होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड पेट्रोलिंग कार्स एंड देन ब्रिलियंट आईज ब्रिलियंट स्टार्स ओके ऑल वर्ड्स आर इजी देन लुक एट देयर मीनिंग मीनिंग ऑफ दिस last one stanza he hears he hears the last voice at night the patrolling cars and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars okay so he hears again he he that is referred to tiger in the zoo means here again in the last one stanza last one stanza the poet the poet is talking about the tiger tiger in the zoo the pitiful condition the helplessness of the tiger tiger in the zoo the caged tiger yes here he says he hears he hears the last voice at night last voice yes he hears means look at there the tiger tiger even not getting well sleep sound sleep he is even not getting sound sleep at night in the cell in the cell he is not getting that sound sleep yes and that's why that's why look at the he could hear he could hear the last voice last voice of at night last voice at night hear the last voice that word clears that he could not have sound sleep he could not have sound sleep in the cell yes he could not have sound sleep in the cell and that's why he could hear he could hear the last voice last voice at night as we know the last voice at night was the noise of or the voice of the patrolling cars the siren the siren of patrolling cars and here as we know that we have sound sleep and that's why we could not hear that that siren the siren of patrolling cars the police cars but but this tiger this tiger in the zoo could hear could hear that last last voice last voice of night that means that means that he could not have sound sleep in the cell he could not have sound sleep and that's why he could hear he could hear the last voice last voice of the patrolling cars at night yes and then he stares he stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars i look at there here here the poet the poet called his eyes or described his eyes as brilliant eyes brilliant eyes okay brilliant as we know that he is very brilliant and uh, what you can say accurate besides intelligent intelligent animal he is 
but but what is what is the use of such brilliant eyes nothing he could just stare he could just stare at the brilliant stars he could do nothing except this yes means he could do nothing except staring at the brilliant brilliant stars with his brilliant eyes at the night at night at night he could not do anything except except watching or except staring staring at the brilliant stars with his brilliant eyes yes he could do nothing he could do nothing except this one so here that shows that shows the helplessness the agony the sorrow the sadness of the tiger of the tiger who is caged who is caged by the human being just for the sake of their fun just for the sake of their fun human being caged animals cages or human beings cage animals cage animals just for their own uh, fun just for the sake of their own fun but it it is not good that here the poet objects here there is no use of his strength no use of his brilliant eyes he could do nothing even he could not have sound sleep this what a pitiful condition of the tiger is what a pitiful condition of the caged tiger the caged tiger yes he could do nothing he could not sleep well at night yes besides he just stares just stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars nothing else nothing else so this 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 sentence says clears clears the agony the sadness the sorrow of the tiger helplessness of the tiger yes this is this is the pitiful condition of the tiger that here the poet the poet wants to convey wants to convey to the readers to the readers yes so this is what the message the message of the poem yes the theme of the poem here the poet expresses the poet expresses the poet expresses the agony helplessness sorrow sadness of the tiger caged in the zoo yes besides he may besides the poet has made a comparison has made a comparison between the life between the life of the tiger in the zoo and the tiger in the jungle so here indirectly we can say the the poet the poet appeals the poet appeals the people poet appeals the people to poet poet appeals the people not to not to cage any animal in the zoo not to cage not to lock any animal why because they too have liberty they too have rights they too are born to free they too are born to free yes as we are as we are and that is a great appeal yes made by the poet to the readers to the humanity so dear this poem is ended here but before that let's see let's see the poetic devices that are used here again same what are the rhyming pair rhyming pair let's see night cars eyes and stars okay so again a b c b the rhyme scheme yes cars and a stars cars and a stars rhyming word okay rhyming words rhyming words and these are rhyme scheme this is rhyme scheme okay a b c b a b c b okay this rhyme scheme is th uh, followed followed throughout the poem throughout the poem this rhyme scheme is followed okay a b c b a b c b okay then let's see let's see the poetic device in figures of speech he hears again he hears the last voice the last voice at night last voice at night so here again he personification personification okay personification 
as we have discussed already then again he hears he hears her sound her sound repeated so alliteration alliteration okay her sound is repeated so alliteration personification why because he the pronoun that is used for human being is referred here to the non human being that is the tiger and that's why it is again personification then alliteration okay besides the patrolling cars then the stares with his brilliant eyes okay stares with with his brilliant eyes so look at there and stares with his brilliant eyes okay so look at here with his brilliant i sound okay i i is repeated is repeated so it is assonance 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 is there assonance is there assonance is there okay then again what is what is what is there what is there assonance is there okay besides again enjambment enjambment is there enjambment enjambment is there as in the line 3 and 4 line 3 and 4 okay line 3 okay line 3 is continued is continued in the four line in the line 4 okay line 4 without without any punctuation mark okay without any punctuation mark without any punctuation mark so here enjambment is also there in the last line means last two lines line number 3 and 4 of the last one stanza so this way these are the figures of speech personification alliteration assonance and enjambment okay these are used in this last stanza so dear guys i hope you have understood this poem very well a tiger in the zoo and the appeal and the appeal the poet has made okay so i hope you got it so here i stop myself here we will deal another part in our next one video lecture so keep watching the videos and enjoy the classes bye bye see you soon